I don't know about this, but whatever. <laughs> Voila, the moment you knew would come, Douglas. Toilet Bowl Confessions, Dead Tree Confessions. Wanted to talk to you and the one to talk to the youth of America about about proper bathroom etiquette. And what better place to talk to you about that than right here? Toilet Bowl Confessions. Take five, six, or whatever we're on now. And as you can see, there's no magic tricks. Yeah, I might be hammered, smashed, drunk, and that probably is why I'm dressed this way. It has a lot to do with... I was dressed in drag earlier, but, you know, I, I am straight as an arrow. But $5 is $5 any way you slice it. So who am I to tell my neighbor no when he says... Hey, you want to go earn some money tonight over down there at Dragons? There's this guy, he pays, anyways, that's besides the point. What's the heart of the issue tonight, Douglas, is One, whether I might need a suppository or not, but the real issue is bathroom etiquette, like I said. Always wash your hands when you pee, especially at work, because other people are probably watching. And you don't want to be identified as the guy who, who stood there at the urinal and made your peace with God, then walked out without washing your hands, because there is splashback. It's all on your forearms, it's on your hands, it's on your wrist of all places, and it is gross. I don't care if it's sterile or not. It, whether it's sterile or not, it smells nasty. And I can tell you something else that smells nasty right now. Look, I have a BM every day about three times a day actually so there's a lot of opportunities for toilet bowl confessions and i'll say them right to you you know right on the internet because i'm not scared i will talk to the duggalo nation as much as i want because all the duggalos want to know what it is i think about when i place my firm muscular buttocks on this toilet seat and I go 14 rounds with this bathroom, but I normally win every fight most of the time. And that's what I was thinking about. So always, now I do the same thing at home. I always wash my hands. Not always with soap, because <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, here at my own house, I just, sometimes when I just pee, I just, I just rinse off with, you know, warm waters, okay? And that's just life. You're going to have to deal with that. I mean, don't come over if that bothers you. I don't like people here anyways, especially Douglas, because they're weird. And that's you. If you're watching, that's you. You're not invited. I don't care if it's Thanksgiving or not, okay? Now, like I said, I might be hammered, smashed, drunk. But you're going to get the truth, and the whole truth, so help me beer. <laughs> I swear, that's going to happen. Now, I will say this. When I, when I do make a poop, I always use soap. One, I might accidentally get a streak on my wrist or something while I'm back there trying to clean up the area. Okay? You know? And I might even, you know, and there's bacteria on that. And I'm not trying to get carcinoma or, you know, or um, spinal ambifidas or nothing like that. So I want to make sure I'm bacteria free. 
So I do, I do autoclave my hands with soap. It's from the dollar store. It was 92 cents a pump bottle and it'll last a while because like I said, I conserve money by only using soap after a bowel movement. I'm not stupid. It's, it's rinse only when you pee and it's, it ain't toilet humor. This is the truth. Okay. I know what you're thinking. I know a Duggalo and I know what they think. This is this is honest, honest to goodness, okay? Honest to God. As my wit as my witness. These have been bloody lately. As my witness. But like this particular bowel movement I'm having right now as we speak on the throne will probably require a shower. When I'm done. Okay. Voila. Okay. Because I got a portable shower head in there. And... Look, you may think that's gross, and you may, I'm never coming over to his house no more, and taking a shower after sex, knowing where that shower head's been. Again, I might squat down right here, and I might clean it out. That might happen, okay? That's my business. It's nobody's business. This, I'm not even, don't even, don't even watch this video. Cause it ain't your business. Just just click off right now, but share it with a friend first. That's all I'm asking. Cause the Duggalo Nation's getting bigger. Every day I look at the stats. That's all I care about in life is the stats. And it says right on there, voila, cross the bottom border headline. CNN live on the air. Duggalo Nation's getting stronger and bigger and nastier and fatter and balder and grosser and stinkier. And that happens in that shower. Oh, I'm not going over there no more using that shower head. It's got poop crystals. On. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Poop crystals. There's bacterials in there. I've heard it all. Okay, first of all, there's not because I'm a clean freak and I clean all the time. And that's not the nastiest thing that's ever happened with that shower head. Okay. <clears throat> My grandma Daisy was over here. Uh couple months ago and I caught her in there with that shower head doing things I didn't think women in their 90s ever did okay I mean to say I was I mean I had to check on her okay because I ain't heard from her for about an hour and the water had been running I thought she had slipped and fell and died right there at my own house and I wasn't going to have that on my conscious con consciousness conscious so I went in there to check and she was in there, oh, give me one more minute. I'm just, I'm just cleaning. I said, Phew. I mean, I didn't say nothing, but I did, you know, call a friend, phone a friend and ask, is that right? And she was in there. Women are rude. Speaking of rude, I got, I'm going to have to finish this turd off and get back with you later.